Today, let's talk about something that's not so nice. You know, the Bible's filled with some things that are not so nice. Today, let's talk about the start of a shameful season. I'm going to read you from 2 Samuel chapter 11, verse 1. It happened in the spring of the year at the time when kings go out to battle, that David sent Joab and his servants with him, and all Israel, and they destroyed the people of Ammon and besieged Rabbah. But David remained at Jerusalem. It's one of the saddest chapters in the Old Testament, and the tragic scandal that unfolds in 1 Samuel 11 casts a dark shadow over the glorious reign of King David. It wasn't his first season of spiritual decline, but it was certainly the most notorious. It's painful to consider that David's adultery with Bathsheba is almost as well known as his victory over Goliath. The chapter begins with a time, in the spring of the year at the time when kings go out to battle. It also begins with a place at Jerusalem. You see, in that part of the world, wars were not normally fought during the winter months because the rain and cold weather made travel and campaigning difficult. Fighting resumed in the spring, but David didn't take up the battle. He stayed home in Jerusalem. And instead, David sent Joab. Though through both custom and experience, God told David, you need to be at the battle. But David remained at Jerusalem. The principle of Galatians chapter 5, verse 16 rings true. It says this, Walk in the Spirit, and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. If David had his attention where God wanted it to be, he would never put his attention where God didn't want it to be. Joab was busy preparing the attack against the Ammonite city of Rabbah, but Satan was busy preparing the attack against King David. Satan succeeded in his attack before Joab. Nevertheless, it's wrong to think that this was the beginning of this chain of events David followed down to adultery and murder. Long before 2 Samuel chapter 11, David showed his disregard for God's plan for marriage when he took more than one wife. David's practice of adding wives showed a lack of romantic restraint in the indulgence of his passions. This corrupt seed, sown long before, grew unchecked long enough and now it would begin to bear bitter fruit. The Christian writer and commentator Alan Redpath wrote this, As I think of what happened, of this I am sure that it did not happen all at once. The matter of Bathsheba was simply the climax of something that had been going on in David's life for 20 years. From this we see that though it was dangerous for David to stay home from the battle, that error merely provided opportunity for the long-standing lack of romantic restraint and the indulgence of passion to display themselves. No doubt God had spoken to David's heart about these matters many times before, and David did not listen or respond. Then God warned David by the events recorded at the end of 2 Samuel chapter 10, showing him the great importance of being in the battle, but David didn't listen. The long-sown seeds of sin together with ignoring God's warning, combined with opportunity, all came together to produce David's most shameful season. Friend, let me speak to you directly. What long-sown seeds of sin are there in your life? What warnings are you ignoring? Can you see the love and goodness of God in the warnings that he gives you? He wants to spare you your own shameful season. Listen to God's direction. Respond to the voice of the Holy Spirit and do what His Word commands you today.